we stand with the rocket engine. Uh, but in order to fly, you need a little more than that. You need to have an avionics system. And Alan's background was in the uh, earlier background was in building similar systems for dragsters and for spacecraft. Um, so we have a totally custom design uh, flight computer it's based on this 100 megahertz 8-bit microcontroller uh, 8051 processor. But it also has integral to the board sensors that include a, uh, a load cell for thrust, fuel and pressure, uh, and fuel, what is it, pressure and um, flow rate, as well as oxidizing pressure and flow rate, chamber pressure and temperature, and then a, a bunch of sensors that can be used for the navigation, parametric altimeter, parametric altimeter, a three-axis gyro, and a three-axis accelerometer, which you see, that's, that's actually right on the board. Um, a GPS and a digital compass. We also have a radio system built on there that can be used for telemetry. And you can see we have two copies of it. So that one right there is the uh, is actually the flight con controller that right on top of the vehicle. This one here is on the ground, which would be the controller that reads telemetry back and can act and send commands to the vehicle. If you have an identical set, except you don't have the uh, IU and gyro on the board controller, which is used to shut things down in the case of emergency. And all the software was developed internally by, by Nova. And then we had to do some uh, flight dynamic analysis to make sure that we had our flight control system tuned and we understand how the system would behave in, in flight. So we put together uh, a six degree freedom simulation based on a NASA reporter. I know there's a lot of stuff that you can get off the shelf from other sources, but we wanted something very simple and straightforward. And I found this uh, NASA CR 2497 actually had about the best description I have seen for some simple equations of motion for this application. Uh, we developed onboard software simulation that could be used. So we could do a closed loop computer um, simulation right on the desktop computer, or we could hook to the flight computer, download the soft flight software onto it, and communicate back. Sometimes using parts of the flight computer to for control. Sometimes just reading back data to see how the uh, sensor was, the sensors were behaving. And that is how we've developed the, the flight software today. Uh, now the next step is to actually fly it. I thought we were being real clever, clever by using a, <coughs> a helicopter. I heard, I heard um, Paul say he was doing that yesterday. I suspect. Now that I think about it, it's kind of obvious solution. So I suspect a lot of people have done that. But, uh, but we actually have the uh, flight computer ready to fly on the uh, RC helicopter. It's actually, this is my RC helicopter. It's not the real one we're using. Alan's got one that's slightly larger. But that's how we're going to finish testing out, uh, particularly the navigation software. So we've got through that. We've, uh, uh, we've got the engine. We've got the airframe. We've got the flight computer. So we're ready for a, a test of them all together as an integrated system. And obviously this was enough to fly, but you can see that it was uh, ready to get off the ground. The thing generated a significant amount of thrust. I've got a little, another little video that shows some close-ups of it. stand right now with the vehicle. Again, that's, we, we've got many of the components done, but we're still working. We have a lot of work to do to, to finish. We do believe we'll have something to fly this summer. Um, if you would like more information on our team, there's a couple of different places you can go. Uh, number one, we have a website, uh, www.bonova.com. There you can find the information about the team itself, the latest news, as well as some products that are being sold by the team. And including information about sponsorship. We're always looking for uh, additional sponsors, particularly for the level two competition. We also have a YouTube channel, so you can see all, pretty much all the videos you saw here today.